Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Frost, and welcome to this new video. So, last week the Battlefield 1 trailer was released, and I am happy to say the game looks absolutely amazing. Especially this little clip here, I love it. Uh, so, if you have seen the trailer already, you will know that this game is set in World War 1, which was already rumoured, but once the trailer was released, it was confirmed that it was in fact set in World 1, and it looks awesome. As it is set in World 1, you'll, it has tanks, swords, zeppelins, desert maps, trench maps, and even close combat with shovels. It just looks insane. The trailer even show, fight, show, showcases dogfights with biplanes, sea pl battles, land battles. It's just got the whole lot, really. The graphics looks good. Looks good. It's realistic. It just looks brilliant. So, the name Battlefield 1 may confuse a few, much like the when the Xbox One was released after the 360. However, there is good reason behind it. The team who created it considered World War 1 to be the dawn of all-out warfare, and as the game is set in World War 1, they decided to call it Battlefield 1. Being in this time period, it means we will not only be seeing gun-to-gun -gun fighting, but we'll also be seeing melee fighting, which means they've actually had to rework the entire melee fighting sort of physics to introduce more depth to it. Now the game's story will be told through more than one protagonist and will explore the stories of unknown war heroes. The multiplayer maps will be set in multiple locations around the world, some of which locations are Arabia, the Western Front and the Alps. The single player maps will also be unlike previous Battlefield installments because the story will offer a much larger sandbox to allow players more choice and variety on how they approach different situations throughout the game. Now, Battlefield 1 features a class system similar to that of Battlefield 1942. Vehicle specific classes are also available, confining players to that role until death. The role of engineer has largely been removed, with many aspects of, of it being transferred to the assault kit. So, first you have, let me sort of give you a deep sort of run in with all the kits. So, the first kit is the assault kit, and this kit is equipped with an anti vehicle, anti -vehicle weaponry designed to destroy enemy armor and def break defense line, defensive lines. You then have a medic, which is similar to early installments, the role of the, which is similar to er early installments, meaning that it, it has been separate from the assault kit, with its focus on being, focus on being able to heal and revive teammates. You also have support, which retains a similar role to recent installments, being armed with light machine guns and the ability to resupply teammates with ammunition. And you have the scout, which is similar to the recon kit, where you are able to gather intelligence and engage enemies at long ranges. Now, the game will also have time period specific vehicles, such as biplanes, tanks, and a variety of naval ships as well. Now, the tank requires two people to control, one being a gunner and the other being a driver, and I imagine that they're probably going to be doing the same thing for planes as well, and maybe even the Zeppelin. So, other than that, guys, I hope to say you have enjoyed this video. Uh, it's only been a short video, just sort of giving a bit of more information on uh, Battlefield 1. I'll be sure to be doing updates in the future as well, so, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button, you will be seeing more updates on this game in the future. So, um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and peace, guys. Thank you for watching.